Hey, Bob. Hey, Dan. Sonic 3 Complete. <laughs> it's a good game. On the mister. Very fancy. I had to... I had to see it. We haven't done Sonic yet. Yeah, it does feel weird that we haven't done Sonic yet. Yeah. We haven't done Mario either, but... Well... Oh, yeah, we did Mario Land. <laughs> yes. That's true. That's Which like is... if we did Triple Trouble or or Tail Sky Patrol. It was just like, yeah, that's Sonic. <laughs> oh, that hurts, putting Tail Sky Patrol as well as Mario <laughs> Land. Let's just say they both feel a little rough, but obviously the qualitative difference is there. Okay, guys, you get one. <laughs> Not a fan of Blue Sphere over here. It looks very nice right now. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's nice to see on the CRT. Yes. I imagine the video looks a good bit rougher. Just because of the nature of that. But, you know, it's still the best looking footage on YouTube, so... Right? Blue Sphere. Guys, got great music. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's got great music. I wish that Sonic Mania didn't come out so I didn't have to also share your hatred for Blue Sphere. <laughs> You just woke up to justice, my friend. That's that's all that happened with you. It's like, uh, do this eight times or maybe 300. <laughs> yeah, get all eight Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, there's only eight, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get all 17 Chaos <laughs> Robotnik, at some point you gotta admit, this is just too much fucking work for either of us. Stop <laughs> taking them. <laughs> so, Bob... What's up? I'm gonna bury this here. Okay. I need to beat McDonald's kids before I die. Oh no. MC Kids needs to happen. The, like an Avenger View stream? Uh-huh. Okay. Cause I've owned it my entire life. I've owned that thing since I was two or wow. some shit. Wow. Yeah. And it's just such an impenetrably difficult game. Does that mean I have to be Dragon Warrior? <laughs> <laughs> Not even like the good later re releases, no, I didn't just know the those. original. <laughs> I had Dragon Warrior. Is it a single stream too? Probably. Oh, fuck. Man, we should be stopped. Yeah, we should. Jesus. So there you go. I, d I did a blue sphere. <laughs> blue sphere done. That was all of them, right? Uh huh. I wonder. I don't. I feel kind of bad. I don't think I set up. Because uh, this didn't have a save file. So I don't think this has set up uh, the proper theme for Knuckles. Ah, oh Because if wow. you recall, one of the things with Sonic 3 Complete is that it gives you the definitive Sonic 3 experience. Yes. Tails, I'm going to break your legs. <laughs> oh, you can't, can't let you do that, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, but this rock... <laughs> this rock is, doesn't exist in this universe. <laughs> oh. Tails, if in the future you could relent from, like... Hey, come, come down here. No, down here. <laughs> Tails. I'm going. I'm gone. There we go. There we go. No! Dan, he really needs to like this bad. Oh, yeah, this is... This we're, is we're, we're doing a, also, a shorter this, play. For this is, uh... This is important, uh... Ooh. This is important to show off that that's a feature of this one. That you can hit the button to jump twice and then have Tails lift you up. Yeah. That's a good feature. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on! What good music. <laughs> I forget what song that, that clip actually did end up in, because Michael Jackson did ship a song that with that, Oh, come on! Because that's not him, that's actually someone else's voice. Right. But he uses that sound sample in, a, in an actually finished song. But so, it wasn't him. Who, Michael Jackson? Yeah, he, yeah. He, no, he's not him. Oh, the, the composer for the composer this composer wasn't no, him. No. Wasn't him. Not him. Not, definitely not him. <laughs> I'm trying to remember who the uh, person saying that is, because we know it came out who exactly that is, the sample. Yeah. Yeah. But no, the, he definitely did not compose this game. Please stop saying he did. Right. And that has nothing to do with why we won't re-release one of the best games we've ever made, so shut up. <laughs> I wonder how I'm gonna beat the fire boss. Oh, right. 
You're just like Juno, you're invincible against fire. Yeah, I'm also smarter than the other boys. <laughs> yes, I, Sonic has strong, smarter than the other boys energy. Also, might not want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic is convinced. Oh my god. <laughs> not even gonna. Um, I have a deep love for Sonic 3, but anytime someone asks what's my favorite Sonic, I still tend to go with 2. I don't know. Something something about 2's music. It's a very different thing. No, no, no! Oh no, not another one! I tried to fireball jump out too, and it yeah, was just hit, hit a red. Bob, I can't do that. You can, it's very easy. It's not easy. It is easy. It's so hard. <laughs> Look, Bob. That's quitting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's that's just that's not what I do anymore. I'm 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 over that. <laughs> No more quitting for Dan. No. Have you seen the length of most of our videos? Yeah. Have you seen the quality of most of our videos? It's a little rough. And how not quitting it is. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's fucking fantastic. This, uh, what was the guild the other day? is like, hey, uh, quick question about, uh, you constantly pushing yourself to get ridiculous quality out of stuff. Why do you do that? I was like, uh... uh, uh I have a psychotic problem. Because this is fucking important to me. Oh, I don't know how else to say this. <laughs> Only another 50 orbs. That's okay. See, that was way more orbs than you thought. Aren't you glad? No. Aren't you glad that I accidentally got trapped in Blue Sphere again? Oh, well, I can still enjoy looking at it on this beautiful TV with this great music. Yeah, it's got, it's got a really good song. I never would have thought of hooking headphones to my giants back in the day. Yeah, well, wait, you had the Model 1. Yeah. You had the... I had, the, had the headphone jack. I had the headphone jack. Never used it. I actually perfected that one. Weird. I, I thought I'd fuck up trying to perfect it and die by the end of it, but, uh... Here we go. Another continue. <laughs> That's important. Yes. Mm -hmm. For this... In a game with a save file. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's less important. Mm hmm. Sonic, what happened to your hand? It's swollen. Ow. It's the size of my head. I thought I'd be like Mario and hit a block. <laughs> Tails get a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's no good! Seriously! <laughs> So how long do you think until that the, the release of the next one of the movies? Uh, I'm not going to date this video. <laughs> Fair, okay. <laughs> you trying to trick me? Yes. <laughs> I probably showed a trailer by now. <laughs> right? Whoosh. No. <laughs> it's an important feature to be able to put your foot down and say no. <laughs> There we go. So, okay, Bob. What's up? In another episode of Analog Gaming, which by God should have come out by now, I don't know how I could possibly mix it up this hardcore, or what motivation there could possibly be to do that. It's a mystery. Uh, I asked you what your top three Game Boy games were. Okay. And you struggled. Yes. Because I was playing, and so, I couldn't think. Yeah, you were, you were in a harder level. <laughs> so I gotta ask. What are, what's your top three Genesis games? Because you had a Genesis, primarily. I did. Um, Shinobi 3. Okay. Uh, Sonic 3. Mm-hmm. It's actually become tough after that, because there, there, huh. there's other good ones, because I, I just don't want to pick another Sonic, because Sonic 2 is right there. And Sonic 2 is, of course, amazing. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and also adopt that rule. To make it easier. Right. Man. I'm trying to think what else there ones I was really... I get really stuck on. It's messed up. Um, so Castlevania Bloodlines. Oh yeah, Bloodlines is amazing. Yeah, that could easily go in that slot for me too. Uh, Sonic 2. <sighs> um... Sewer Shark. <laughs> Does that count? Let's take a CD. Uh, it's still playing on a Genesis. 
Hmm. All right. That's like saying, does that count? That's PS4 Pro. <laughs> There we go. I got two in. I'm not going to get greedy. I also had a... There we go. Wow, yeah. that was simple. Right. Now we get to hear what song it has selected for, Knuckles. It better be the good one. It should just do that by default. That's the whole point of Sonic 3 Complete. <laughs> Uh, my Genesis was actually, uh, on... One moment. Good. <laughs> it is really good. That's, that's the theme. Nice. Oh no, Tails is dead. Eh, it happens. He's back. We flying up there? I'm trying. Okay. He's just not grabbing you? Yeah, no, it's not working out. I don't know if maybe he can't right now. Right. Ba ba do. What a good song. Yeah. Ba ba do. Boys, boys. Um, but yeah, my uh, my Genesis was uh, owned by my father, uh -huh. and my father split at an early age, and I did not get to take the Genesis with me. Um, so like. It's hard for me to think of that many Genesis games, especially in the later life when I really didn't have it. Right. Um, yeah, I've never been a person for Ranger X. I never played that one. I, I uh, Zeon's a big fan. Yeah, I know. Zeon's a big fan. Um, it's pretty cool as hell, right? Like, I, I see what someone would see in that. I right. see what she sees in that. And, uh... It's cool as hell, but something about it just doesn't control in a way that I would like. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. I had very few games for it, and uh, a lot of the times I ended up with bad stuff like Robo Kid, which I think is very cool, but also bad and hard, like way too hard. I also had, oh God, what's that European game made by Factor Five? Turrican. Turrican. Yeah, I had Turrican. Um, yeah, and you don't have what I consider the good Turrican. No. It had really great music. Oh yeah, of course, it's Turrican. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't even remember playing that as a child. I just didn't had the box. <laughs> <laughs> the game just wasn't real. Yeah, I, I think uh, I realized the game was so bad that I traded it in or something. <laughs> wow. Man, this looks really good on this TV. Yeah, it does. Like, I know people are like, no, you need the composite to blur the pixels together, but I really like the waterfalls looking like that. Yeah, I don't... There's just a neat aesthetic to that. It just looks really neat. Right? I don't oh, shit. feel like the, that the rainbow effect is necessary. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need that. But it's good It's good that I know that that's there, because I feel like maybe I didn't before. <laughs> oh, come on. Come <laughs> on. That's how I feel every time I hit this boss. You know, those little separations in the water ain't so bad on a real CRT. Oh yeah, it's super obvious on the most modern stuff. Yeah. So you need to come here and not see it be terrible. Yeah, it's a little bit better even on this uh, really sharp video output and really sharp TV we've got here. It, it's a lot less obnoxious. Yeah, but now I'm like, we should play Fastlane Clubline for this series. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's another just astonishingly and, good And game. then they just went to the Genesis and never left. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is I really like um, certain aspects of the way the Genesis is compared to the SNES. Mm -hmm. You know. Um... Oh, oh no. 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 No, 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 no. It's fine. We're just barely going to make it most of the way. Okay. Thank you for listening. This episode <laughs> is a big thing to mention. And something, something patrons. Oh, you like What's that up? There. I got this. I'm a pro. Why else would I use this song in the fucking big thing to mention outro theme? The Patreon.com slash GB Podcast today. 
How did we not mention Streets of Rage 2 and Golden Hex? Yeah, I don't know. We're just... Three is too few. Yeah, yeah, Streets of Rage 2 is really good. I... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd put that as my number three. Yeah. So it goes... It goes Sonic... Sonic 2. Ignoring Sonic 3 because of one Sonic rule. Right. Uh... Streets of Rage 2. <laughs> and then that one song from Columns 3. <laughs> and the song's so good. Yeah, Golden Axe 2 might be one of the most played Genesis games I own. Like, that one is the one I always came back to. Golden Axe 2 is incredible. Altered Beast is really great. It is. Um, Not as good as Golden Axe 2. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, that's fair. It, I, it's it's definitely great in ways that Golden X2 isn't. Right. Has a lot more replay value. It's got style. And it's also got replay value. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is that you, God? It's me, Dan Video Games. <laughs> yes! Let's cheese this! <gasps> Oh, I no. tried to I tried to do a spin yeah. spin dash jump. Yeah, you're too. too it's ambitious. okay. We got this tails. Just do that 37 more times, and we'll be out of here. <laughs> but yeah, I loved uh, Sonic the Hedgehog a lot as a kid. Mm -hmm. So even if it was just a Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 box, it gave the Super NES a run for its money. For yeah. me. No, I I got the. Super Nintendo way later, and honestly, a lot of my favorite games on there are RPGs, mm -hmm. which I'm, I don't know, it's not, it's different. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, that platform is very RPG heavy because, yeah. you know, action games are hard on that system. Right. I think everyone tried to do action games out of the gate, and, uh, oh boy. They didn't run so great. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, ignoring that, uh -huh. I'm just, I'm just gonna say, like, I love a lot of, uh, Super, Super Nintendo games. Like, I have many, like, Kirby Superstar, amazing. Yeah. Uh, I actually enjoyed, uh, Castlevania 4 back yes. in the day. Mega Man X games are great. Yeah, isn't it weird they did Mega Man X on the Super NES, even though it's clear that that system struggles to play that game? Right, and then for Genesis to, like, take this awful, widely worse stuff. That Nintendo exclusivity thing was still going strong, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you know Capcom did that weird version of Street Fighter for them. For Sega. Huh, I What was forgot. the Champions... Championship Edition CE? <laughs> But yeah, as a kid, I, I even, like, mildly enjoyed Sonic Spinball. Not, like, a whole lot, though. Yeah, I remember writing that and being like, ooh. It's got great style. Yeah. I think I printed that on vacation, strangely enough. It was weird. Remember vacations? No. Okay. <laughs> Let's just pretend not. <laughs> nope. There we go. Whoa! Boys, 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 boys! Act two, red. <laughs> red corner. Whoa! <laughs> this big day needs to be fixed! It's too powerful! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sonic no longer has an asshole. Oh no! We got him. <laughs> Why is the US government trying to get Sonic's asshole and who greenlit this film? <laughs> Sonic movies got a really weird plot. They did, you know? Man. Electric Shield, that's the best shield. It, it's great. It's really great. I like the fire because the ability to instantly move in any direction while in midair. Yeah, no, I get it. But that's, it, that's good, but... 
Seeing the range is all flight towards you, though. It's hard to be. It feels good, just like this feels good. One moment. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. One of the only things in Sonic you can spin dash on and you just hop up. It's nothing really good track. Oh, yeah. You know, Lava Reef Zone is really good from Knuckles. Um, Sonic and Knuckles, that is. Yeah. Um, and I really like that song, but I think 3 has the larger share of amazing themes. Then again, that does have, like... That does have, um... The final area, which I've forgotten the name of. <laughs> uh, the weird... Is it Death uh, Egg, or...? No, 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 no. We're talking, like, you're teleporting up there, uh, and you meet uh, Metal Sonic and stuff like that at the end of Sonic & Knuckles, and it's got that amazing theme for that area. They they had that area in uh, Sonic Generations. Um, yeah, I can't remember either. I can't remember the name. Uh, I know that... Is that where... Uh, battery something... No, the, the flying battery zone is is not. That's like level two. Yeah, I thought that it was. I thought that was way earlier. Oh, but I wanted to make sure. I, I figured the top would have. Yeah, you, touched the ground and started flying really fast. But oh no 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 no! no, no. Bad times. I'm gonna guess I need to be up there. Not if you want the good ending. Oh no! <laughs> Please tell me Tails doesn't die in this one I'm going for. Whoop. Uh, he, he's fine, but roll. Oh no! <laughs> Why is it like Rockman Adventure? A game we should play on this series! <laughs> oh my god! People are like, what is this? <laughs> what? Why is Roll dead? <laughs> god, Keiji Nafude was even like, why is Roll dead? That says a lot, because that guy likes Inti. <laughs> right? That, the, the, a guilty has made his entire career out of sick little sisters. That's true, yeah. God, why are they always withering? I don't know. I don't know. And honestly, if Super, if Super Rockman Adventure didn't beat them to it, they probably would have killed Roll. Yeah. That's okay, they killed the X series. They did. When they made X5 and X6, and that's fucking obvious that anyone who doesn't... <laughs> who doesn't think so can catch these hands. That is clearly them making those games. <laughs> Ouch. Sonic, are you okay? Yes, I am fine. I, I feel good. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> See, this area is neat, right? Yeah. Aesthetically speaking, super neat. Uh, layout speaking, interesting. But I don't think it's actually that great of a level. Yeah, no, I get that. I think it's aesthetically really amazing, but eh. And the boss is cool. Yes. I think that's it. This thing you have, like, one of my favorite fighting games of this generation is, uh, so or, uh Gundam yeah. Endless Duel. That's cheating. <laughs> that's a super late... I mean, the PS1 was out. Oh my god, I never knew the age on it. Oh yeah, yeah, I, that's that's the wing one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that thing that thing came out after the PS1 was out in Japan. That's hilarious. Oh well, still great. Yeah, I, I can't argue with that, though, because, like, many great SNES games came out in 96, I'm pretty sure. Or 95, or both. I'm trying to think. <clears throat> Top three SNES games. Yeah. Mega Man X2. Same rule applies to Mega Man. Right? So you can't nominate more than one. Right. Uh, Kirby Superstar. This is hard. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, let's see, if I were to do it, Act Razor. Act Razor is good. It's amazing. There's so many good games, and they're they're good in so many different ways. Right. You know, you get a lot of variety. <laughs> like Sim City. Sim City's amazing on the Super NES. Yeah, that was impressive when I finally played it. Still would much rather play uh, one of those PC ones, but for sure. I, d I, experience. I cannot. <laughs> I, I appreciate having a button that I can click and immediately push on a D-pad and move everything, and other buttons I can click to instantly go to menus. Also, that game has amazing music. 
It does. And better visuals than the PC version. Yeah, no, I wouldn't play the PC version of that one. I'd oh, of one? Yeah. Just 2000 is where SimCity starts in my mind. <laughs> that, that's revision. Oh, no. That's revisionism. <laughs> yes. I won't stand for this. Bob's out here comparing Super NES SimCity to 2000. Yeah. It's rough, I know. It's hard to live up to the champion. <laughs> I, I like the Super NES SimCity more than 2000, but clearly I just need to bash my head against it <laughs> and play only the PC version. What is... What? It said no. Yeah, no, I guess you need the top to kill that. Really? That'd be my guess. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So about this area being a little rough. Yeah. I'm like holding to the right and he's like, no, I'm I'm jumping straight up, bro. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Act Razor's really up there for me, for sure. Right. Absolutely incredible game. Real shame about Act Razor 2. Uh, Vox actually tried that on her stream the other night after oh, yeah? playing Act Razor 1. She played it for about five minutes, I hear. Jesus. Yeah, that makes sense. The game is really rough every it's time I see it. It's unbelievably rough. I, I, I struggle to think of action games that bad. I need to play Actor than one more, because I've hardly played it. Yeah. A lot of people come to it and they're frustrated by things it does that Castlevania also does, but everyone gives Castlevania a pass. It's real weird. I mean... Like fixed jumps? Yeah, fixed jumps, but I think that... Part of Castlevania's thing is you have the longer range width, whereas in Act Razor, you, you seem to just have that little sword. Yeah, so I mean, that, when you crouch, it's longer range. So that, that really changes the way it feels sometimes. Yeah, I, from what I see from people is that they need that range and for it to be completely flat. Because when you're crouched, it's flat and it has a little bit more range. It's like a little bit less than Castlevania, in my opinion. Um... And when you're standing, it's an overhead swipe. Right. And people seem to not get used to that. At least I've seen a couple people like that. <laughs> Namely, Vuxen. <laughs> like, knows, why maybe he called out on this Sonic? I hit it's it true. where she would never find it. Oh, I, hit okay. it. I hit myself to repair myself. Oh, okay. Jesus. That line kills me. I need to stop thinking about it. Wh which Zero says that in X6. Oh, God. That game is so not done. It's so roughly translated. I hid myself to repair myself. What a bad sentence. <laughs> what, he's just telling you what he did last week? In, like, the world's worst sentence. Yes. Yeah, this is this level's rough. <laughs> We're still going on it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a chunk of a level. You know, it may be a critical part of why I like two more. Yeah. Because it's level with a similar aesthetic. Which, God, what was it called? Neo Green Hill was the original name. And then they changed it to, like, you know, retro something. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that, that level has much more interesting ideas. Right. More more solid fundamentals. You know, I, I don't even clearly remember it, but I didn't like that too, honestly. <laughs> uh, so, lots of mountains and stuff you're going through. Uh... You'll, you'll enter an area and it'll start, like, doing a lava going upward vertical climb sort of thing. Mm. There Sounds we go. Sounds familiar, yeah. yeah. I mix it in one a lot. Like, for some reason, this, this style of level gets mixed up in my head more than the other ones do. I mean, they are Green Hill adjacent, non-Green Hill levels. Because, yeah, like, they, literally the one and two was supposed to be a reference to Green Hill. Huh. Like, its original name is something sort of, like, adjacent to that. Where it's like, original Green Hill, or... something like that. It was, it was, if I remember correctly, this is the part I'm really uncertain of. Uh-huh. But I'm pretty sure it's the case. So don't fucking quote me on this, Google it. Um... It's still there from when they thought they might do time travel. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing about that first time. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. You just dead? That's fine, I just need to perfect this boss. Here oh, we go. right, right, this thing. This boss is really good. Yeah, no, this boss idea is really good. It's the rest of the level, other than, man, this uh, top is neat. And everything, everything else is kind of rough. Yes. Ha! Ah! 
tails is so strong. Apparently, it's just like, ah, bat it off. My tail. Just one. I don't even use both tails. <laughs> it just forms a fist and he socks him in the mouth. Well, yeah, the other tail's still spinning to keep him afloat. And then <laughs> one tail is turned into the gigantic <laughs> yes, fist. like Cuphead style. Yes. And we hit Carnival Night. Oh, that's a good point to stop. <laughs> The executive producers for this month of Gigaboots are Esme, E. Lee Broyles, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff, Red Blaze 27, Brendan O'Sullivan, Live Action Muito Real, Completely Normal Adam, Cooper Tank, Zilter, and Virvarm. Thank you very much to our executive producers and also these patrons. If you want to become an executive producer for an obscure but powerful YouTube channel, head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today.